So this is my 1989 Yamaha TW200. Uh, I'm about to take the uh, carburetor off. It's not too hard. You take the seat off with these two bolts on the bottom side. Take this bolt out. And then you'll pull your tank off. This thing is normally here. You take out those two screws. And this little rivet nipple sticks into the side of the gas tank down there. So you just pull those off. Not bad at all. Your tank, so your tank slides over both of those knobs. Ooh. You slide right into there. And the butt sits down over that knob. Of course, before you take the tank off, you'll have to pull this gas line off. And then it's on to these things, which are not fun at all. So for this first one, oh, I can get it right. This thing out of the way. I had to push this all the way up and then wiggle that thing out of there. It was really tight, but I got it. So now this side should be a lot, a lot easier. Yeah, maybe. There it is. I'm just going to kind of leave those because they're in a good spot. I already loosened this one. It's the Phillips. And then that's not right, a hose clamp, but that's what's on this one, sadly. So I'm going to take that, off, that hose clamp off now. So I took that hose clamp loose, moved it back a little bit. Then you'll come over to the other side. And this little piece is the same way. It's just got two little things down here. They just pull straight out. And then, of course, this little nipple goes in the gas tank. Wasn't too bad, just got out of the way. So now, just kind of pull it. Be careful, you have to pull it off of this, the whole thing, that way, so you can get it off of this boot. So I should probably loosen that a little bit more. And then it's really, really tight, but it'll wiggle out of there. So. Okay, so... After you get these things off, after you get this thing loosened, this one loosened, next thing are these little dealies. Don't really want to take these off because I don't want to lose what I got, but I have to. Pull this thing now, screw that. Should just like a so. This one. It's probably. Not this loose, but I'll have to get a wrench for that one. But it'll just pull off like the other one. Then I'll go to the other side. See, I almost got a little bit off, but I have to take these off first. I'll be back. So I stopped and uh, I take another video. I got this one off. So then I pushed. So normally it's sitting like turned more. I pushed that in far that way and pulled this in towards me. So it turns a little bit, and then you gotta go down, kinda get her out of there. Not too bad. This is a better video of what's clogging the carburetor. Ooh. See all that junk right there, that clear? Yeah, there's a lot in there. Probably a whole lot more in there. So I got it cleaned, goes back in, you got to have it at an angle, kind of like this. And then once you push it through, it'll rotate up and sit in there. It's hard to get both of these pushed in there. You kind of got to do this with it, but I'll show you when I'm done. So I got it back, so I got it back in there. It was a little rough. Start with the back first. You gotta push that whole, you gotta push the whole air box. It'll end up pushing this thing back too. It's connected to that piece. And push the whole thing back and then I had to like pry it over that thing. So tighten these, both of these clips back up. And I'll put these on here already. Get everything adjusted back down. The only problem I see is 
when you turn the bar as far that way, there's a little pull on it, but I'll get it fixed. So to tighten this wire, you got to undo this nut, undo that nut, push the whole thing down, see, if you want to, well that's loosening it, that's tightening it, that's loosening, and that's tightening, so whenever you push this all the way down, it keeps it nice and tight. Same thing with the other one. Now I'm about to clean my gas tank out real good. Stick it back together. Hopefully I can get it running.